Oh, my fine feathered friends, welcome to a sparkling Saturday surprise edition because we have a thread up DIY jewelry box and we are about to unbox this thing. I've been trying to get hold of one of these ever since I started opening jewelry boxes and I finally did. Super excited. I also, ooh, don't mind the hands. I did put lotion on, but you know, that doesn't help when you only do it, you know, right before you film a video. Anyway, this one is from Savannah, Georgia. Oh no, Swanee, Georgia. Mm, not sure about that because there's been some boxes I've seen coming out of there that aren't great, but we're going to give this a try. It's supposed to be five pounds of jewelry. It does not feel super heavy, so we'll see about that, but I am super excited to get in here and see what we have to flip online. Okay. Oh my gosh. Huh? Maybe it's heavier than it looks or felt. <laughs> Let me get this box out of the way. All right. I do have, like I said, the day I got this, I managed to snag two fun boxes. I've never gotten those before. I've unboxed those and those will be coming up. So you should make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification button so you don't miss those. Well, I thought they weren't so great to start with. There may be a couple of surprises in them. Okay. This is what our bag looks like to start. I see a number of watches to add to my bulk watch lots. <laughs> I have some uh, DIY watch lots. Ooh, there's a little pretty, looks like something that's fallen out of something. All right, let's just get the scissors. This is taped and get into this bag. So I'm super excited. Oh, by the way, I'm Amy, the Rated Shopper. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. And for all my folks who may not be as fond of jewelry as they are of other things, I so appreciate that you are joining me on my new fascination with flipping jewelry. I have always loved jewelry. I used to make jewelry uh, with clay and cloth and a whole bunch of other things. My mom used to make Christmas pins every year and I was in charge of helping. So I have a big fondness for jewelry. I just don't wear it much because, you know, time, effort, etc. All right, let's see what's in this bag. Enough chitter chatter. Ooh, my goodness. Okay. Well, uh, this looks like it is just a case for a Fitbit. I have a lot of those going. Oh, wait, is that Tory Burch? Hold on now. Is that Tory Burch? Oh, uh, hmm. Guess I'll have to do some research before I throw that into a lot. Uh, but I think it is a little scuffed and tarnished up here, but people don't care about tor that with Tory Burch so much. So I guess I'll do some research on that before I throw it into my mix lot. All right, I'm just gonna pile earrings over here to the side until we get some matches. Do, do, do. Ooh, mm, tissue paper, fabulous. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have been, as I said, opening a ton of jewelry boxes because, oh my gosh, so much fun and, oh my gosh, so many things to sell. Oh, unfortunately, that one's empty, but I have, it has totally destroyed my phone. It's just filthy. I need to take this off and wash it as soon as I clear it up. All right, so far, we've got really nothing to look at here, except maybe that toy birch. Okay, so this is just a little gold tone bracelet. It has a lot of wear and it could be just dirt. Uh, but I think that's just going to go into a craft lot. Do I have a craft lot box? I thought I did, but then I put other things into it. Ooh, let's use a thread up box. Hold on just a second. Let me grab this. There we go. Craft lot. All right. I am making a, those are nice stretch. Those could be a nice pair. I am making a lot of faux pearls and these as expected are faux pearls. So they will go into a lot with that. Okay. Let's just what do you see? What? Why? Why is that a thing? Like, why do I want my fingers cuffed together? I mean, seriously, people, like, do I need that? I'm going to have to look that up and see if that's anything. It does have wear on the back and I don't see any markings. And it's just filthy. I mean, that's, I mean, unless this is worth a million dollars, it's going to go into craft. Let's just put it that way. Oh, okay. We got some of those. All right. We got, that's an earring. I'll put that over there. This is a Serafina. I don't know if you can see that little bracelet. So it looks like it has some, these are stone. They're cold. Is that coral maybe? Some quartz or crystal perhaps. I mean, uh, agate and what is that? Red, not tourmaline. I'm thinking of the wrong names. So, and that looks like kind of a moss agate, but I'll have to look. So this is a stretchy, but I'll have to look up Serafina. It's in very good condition. So that is definitely sellable unless it's worth like two bucks. In which case, eh, we'll see. All right, let's see if I can get a little more space here. Ah, oh, they're all tangled together. So this is going to be fun, folks. Okay, wow. That is kind of fab. That is just a giant pendant with ivory. It says on the back, stainless steel, China. Well, that's not helpful because everything is it just that's all it says right there. So I was hoping for a brand name. It is a little dirty, but I can give it a cleanup. It's really cute. I love like the enamel with the gold tone. Seems to be in good condition, except just a little dirt. So that'll, like, that'll take a bath and get listed, maybe with a, a chain. This looks like it's homemade, and that will go probably into a bead lot. 
So I'm separating those out as, not as we speak, but <laughs> I am separating out a bunch of, these look like they go together, come to me. You, come be a pair, here we go. Um, so these are just some clear, well, those are kind of fun, clear beaded bracelets with some nautical and some little cute starfish. Actually, they're not starfish, they're sea stars. Um, so those are fun and probably just cheapy, but really cute. They've got decent stretch. And these again are the kind that like if you roll on, they're fine. Like if you pull on them, they're gonna break. But see those fit my wrist. My wrist is about seven and a half on a good day, depending on, you know, water retention and all that kind of stuff. But those fit fine and they don't have any gaps on my wrist. They're actually, there's some nice space there. So those are cute as a little set. And again, just rolling them on and off keeps them from breaking for the most part. All right, those are sellable, I think. Super cute. I want this bracelet to come to me, but it won't because it's tangled. Hold on, let me see if I can help this extrication process. Are you, oh, there we go. This is a thing. It has birds on it. It's the cutest dang thing ever. Ooh, does that say silver? Hold on. It says, mm, BR. So is that Banana Republic? I don't think it's silver. Where's my magnet? Here we go. Well, okay, it's not magnetic. It is so stinking cute, is it? I don't know if that is a BR. I can't see right there. So let me just give a little rub, which I kind of hate to do. I do like a good tarnish. I think that's Banana Republic, so I highly doubt that it's silver. Um, they're so cute. I want to see what I can do about giving them a clean. And I'll probably test it just to make sure that it's not sterling or anything like that. Because why not? I have a whole giant pile of things to test. So <laughs> eventually I will get to that. I just... Like I said, I keep just opening the packages. This is just a little piece of chain on a piece of embroidery thread. And that's a bracelet. That's going to go into a craft, actually. So there we go. All right, what do we got here? We've got a little um, bobby pin. Someone has made that. I actually think those are really pretty jewels. Someone can do something fun with that in a craft lot. Ooh, what are you, ice cream? Okay, you can go in earrings. So far, earrings, earrings, earrings. Earrings. If that's a Tory Burch thing, that was kind of cool. I don't know if it has any value because it seems probably for an older model. Okay, what is all this? What? Okay, two, three, four things. What is this? That is interesting. It's like, it looks like it's an old school cigarette holder, but it's not. I think that's just plastic or acrylic. It doesn't have a clasp and I don't see any markings. I do see some dirt. I mean, it's kind of fab. Very statement, fun layered. I will give that a good clean and we'll see what happens with that. Right now, it's not, in my opinion, sellable just because it's dirty. As much as we like it dirty, we don't like it that kind of dirty. Uh, did I? I'm, no, we're looking at jewelry. Never mind. I'm behaving. My, I, what is? I need to get out more often, people. This is a bunch of charms. We've got McDonald's french fries. We've got the high heeled shoe. We've got the fleur de lis. We've got the shop uh, holic in pink enamel. We've got a blue sparkly butterfly and a feather. And then we have one of those adjustable, what are these called? I think Kristen D said it. Anyway, they adjust beautifully. So that can fit like almost any size wrist. I don't see any markings right now, just at first glance, but that seems sellable. And I will take a look a little closer if I see anything cool on the uh, charms. Okay, these are cute. Ooh, little compass earrings go confidently in the direction of your dreams shopbeadedwire.com shop the beaded wire so those are very cute and i'm sure they're not oops let's stick into that hold on everything oh are you a new earring no yeah those are just not anything but cute and definitely sellable i will look them up online and see if they are worth uh putting up individually on poshmark or if i will be adding them to a craft lot on poshmark i do tend to do some jewelry i wouldn't normally sell i'm doing it for 10 to $15 and then lots for $30. I might lower it to 25. I don't know. Depends on when I get enough listed. And then I'll do a shipping discount on that, especially for people who are friends of the channel. So if you are a friend of the channel and see three pieces you want on Poshmark under $15, just tell me and we'll do 25 for you because you're you. All right, we're almost, here. oh my gosh, this is serious business. Okay, this is insane and hideous and I absolutely kind of love it. So this is just cheap, old, chunky plastic kind of opalescent red plastic. Uh, it's new on the card, but I mean, it's just hideous, but it's fabulous and it's hideousness. I mean, look at that. Like that is a statement. I will totally probably put that up for like 10, 12 bucks and let someone lot it together. I don't know if anyone will want to. It's not something like a normally sell, but come on, it's gorgeous in its own hideous sort of way. Those are earrings. Let's put those over there. This was 
$24. Oh, and it's broken. Pish tosh. It has come detached there. Someone can fix that. So this is Christopher and Banks. And it is very pretty. It looks like it has some chunks of real stone in there. Uh, some agate. But it does have this broken chain. Which, seriously, this strand could be removed and no one would notice. It's just uh, one of those kind of strands. It has the flat pieces and then the links. I can't remember what those are called. But they're called something. So for those of you who know things, tell me down in the comments so I learn. Ha ha! Thank you, by the way, for all of you who tell me all the good information. It makes me so happy. So yeah, this is the piece. It could literally just be detached up here. No one would know the difference. I could do that and sell it because it's kind of cute. I mean, you would know, but no one else would. Hold on. So if I did that, it'd be a three strand, which actually is kind of cute. What would you do? Would you put that in the craft lot and let someone fix it or do something or take this piece off, which I could detach right up there and then sell it as is? It was originally 25 bucks. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Let me know what you think. Right now I'm going to put that in. I don't know what I'm doing with that pile because I could totally fix it so it's sellable. Just not in its original condition. Okay, this is a big old earring. Hold on. Attached to a plasticky watch. I think I have another of these watches. Uh, this is a base metal bezel, stainless steel back. Um, it's kind of dirty. This is just going to go into one of my watch lots. Oh, so, which I have to finish making up. Oh, this is one fab big old earring and there's only one and it's from Forever 21. And we'll see if the other one's in there somewhere. Not that I'm going to craft. All right, um, earrings, doo, doo, doo. Let's see, what can I get out without breaking anything? Mew. So this has, these are all stone, they're cold. Is that a belt or a necklace, like a head wrap? So you'd wrap it around your neck maybe a couple times. It is really cool. And these are stones. They are cold to the touch. It's got this button closure. So I'm assuming it's a, a necklace of sorts. Like maybe you wrap it and do some kind of funky whatever. I don't know. And it has four places you can put the button through. That's very pretty. Very boho. And because those are stones for sure, I think I'm going to put that in the I'll sum up pile. Why not? Let's see. we got to watch here with a fun attachment. What is this? Oh, this is Levi's. That's kind of cool. Oh, there we go. Sorry. So that's a Levi's watch. I don't know if there's any market for this at, at all. I will double check. This is kind of beat up a little bit. I think it can probably clean it, but I'll just say it's distressed, just like your favorite jeans. So I will look that up before, otherwise I'll put it in my watch lot and see what happens. Ooh, look, we do have this earring. Put that in the earring pile. Okay, this is a cuff and unfortunately it is a really cool vintage cuff, but it's super chipped along the edge. All the enamel is coming off. So that is, and it's teeny, I mean, that thing is tiny. Like I could get three fingers in there. There we go. And so that's just going to go into craft. Someone could do something super fun with it. Oh my gosh, look at this parrot ring. Oh, oh, the happiness. Oh, the happy day of the parrot ring. No, you have to go on my pinky. Too big for there, but look at that. What is, what is that? Why is that a thing? And why do I love it so much? Hello, I'm so serious. If you ever see anything you want, let me know in an email. Send an email with a timestamp and preferably a screenshot of what you want. If it is still available, we can arrange for me to list it if it hasn't already been listed. If things are already listed, then I will just let you know that they're available on Poshmark or eBay. Usually Poshmark for jewelry. What is that? I don't think I want to know. We'll put you over in earrings for now. Earrings, 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 tangle. Ooh, bracelet. Okay, here we go. We're getting there. We're, ooh, safety pin. Ooh, we got this. Ooh, earring. There we go. Okay. All right, do, do, do. we are almost there. We've got two things almost here. This is a really tangled bag. And so far, nothing brilliant, but that's okay. This is just a sweet little heart. It is gold tone, but it is just a, a little too dirty. So it's gonna go into craft. And this is a chunky thing. And I love these spring action sections of wire. What are these? These are glass, plastic maybe glass, but I think plastic. Big old chunky lobster claw with a little bit of color loss here, but it's really not bad. And this is a fab necklace. I just love these bits. So that is definitely something that we can put in the cell pile. All right, what are you? You want to get tangled with everything. Let's see. You are love and anchors and crosses and infinity. Can you make up your mind? What are you? You are everything all in one. So it's got these brass tone. Oh, there we go. Sorry. You're sh not sure. Um, it's into it's craft. Someone could like this. Love is cool. The infinity is cool. The cross is cool. Cool. The anchor is cool. All separately together. It's a bit much. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just eh, it's a bit not 
not so much. That's all right. Craft. All right. This is, ooh, a pocket watch. Come to me, a pocket watch. You're not on it. Mm. Mistress says quartz. Ooh, it's working. Hold on. Did I just move? No. I was imagining that. Uh, it doesn't have anything on the back. Let's see if this opens. Uh, I'm not going to open it right now, I guess. No, I'll, I'll have to dig under there. It is not on its original chain in any way, shape, or form. I don't know if that's vintage or not, but it looks really cool. So we shall see. Oh, you're an earring. Cool. You're ceramic. All right. Uh, so we'll see about this. If I will do a little research and see if it's anything worthwhile. Otherwise, it will go into my a craft. A I mean, not my craft lot. My bulk watch lot. So right now, that's a maybe. Uh, this is just a string wrapped bracelet that can go into craft. Let's see. All of the things are tangled here. What are you? Are you one earring? You are, but you're attached to this necklace. There we go. See if we can get you off because you are a fab earring. I hope there's another one of you. All right. Earrings, 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 earrings. Ooh, another bracelet that would go, another two bracelets. So there's four bracelets that go with that little clear under the sea theme. So we've got coral. It's the same color. We've got another little anchor. I'll double check them all to make sure that they aren't missing any stones, but that's another group to go with the first two that we tried on. All right. Can, can you come to me? Both of you are interesting. There we go. Oh, you're pretty. What are you? You are Mark Jacobs right there. And this is a five strand gold bracelet, gold tone. And it's in pretty decent shape. There's a little wear on the clasp, but I'm sure it's just a gold tone and it's really cute. So I think someone would love that. There we go. And this bracelet has some interesting charms on it. What are you? Why is there, there's like Easter blech, stuff there. All right, we've got Earth Angel and a shell and a wing. This is supposed to look like a sand dollar. So this is supposed to be, I think probably like an Alex and Ani knockoff. Um, these are fine. This one's a little dirty. I can probably clean it. Do these sell, the knockoff sell? I don't know. I will probably clean it and then see. I'll pro I'll, it'll probably end up in craft. That's a little ring. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little rose. Just a little bitty, itty bitty rose. That's a teeny tiny thing. That's like a size four. Oh, wait. I have my... Hold on. Wait a second. I have a thing. Let me use the mandrel. It's a three and a half. Holy buckets. That is a teeny weeny, but it is so cute. That's probably going to go into craft because I don't know. Or I might put it in my yard sale lot for kids. Anyway, right now it's going to go into craft. Unless you have a teeny tiny finger and happen to want one, let me know. Earrings, 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 earrings. So many earrings. All right, you're an earring and a broken necklace. All in one. Let's get the earring out of you. Do, 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 do. Ooh, big. Oh, oh, it's missing a thing. It's a big old chunky ring. So right now that's going into craft unless I find that gem. And that could be glued pretty easily. That's kind of fun. Like, that's huge. It's not huge, very big. It's probably six. Yeah. Looks like five and a half or six. There we go. Is my pinky is usually a six. Unless I'm retaining extra water. That is, is that supposed to be a ring? Again, that's like a four or five. Has little, mm, hmm, let's see. We got anything here? I still have it. Yeah, that's just going to probably go into craft unless it's like silver, but it's not. Well, it's not magnetic, but it's not silver. We'll test it. We'll put it in the test pile. It's probably not. Ooh, that. Look at the sparkles on that, baby. Look, you want to get engaged, gorgeous? Size six, giant solitaire. Definitely not a diamond. Too much AB kind of crystal sparkle, but it's in really good condition. It's very pretty. It is magnetic, as I thought, but that's sellable. I think someone would love to wear that. So pretty. All right. Ooh. Look at the bunny. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so terribly tarnished. Wouldn't someone still love him? I want to see if I can clean him up, but look at, he's an adjustable ring. So like I'd have to adjust him a lot because he's tiny, but look at him. He's chunky and he's so cute. I actually have a bracelet that is bunnies that was really cute. And yeah, he'll stretch to a good, probably seven easily and more obviously if you want him to, but I don't want to, there, I'll adjust slightly. I'll see if I can clean them up. Otherwise, I'll just go into craft. Poor little bunny face. Oh my gosh, the earring cuteness. Okay. More earring cuteness. All the earrings. We've got all earrings all the time. Oh my gosh, I love you. What are you? Come here. Oh, you're the other one of those. Do we have two of you? I think we have two. 
There we go. I don't know if the other one is all whole, but look at that. We'll look at that later. Earrings, earrings, earrings. Oh my gosh. Fabulous panda earrings. So many earrings. What are you? Can I get you out of here? No. You're just... Okay, look at this tangle. Are you serious? Are you just... Look at this. Ooh, earring. Fabulous earring. Tangle. Oh, is this you? Oh my gosh, that's an earring. Holy buckets of earring, Batman. I mean, we're talking tassels. We're talking ombre tassels, baby. Ow! I don't know about that. Let's see if I can get the other one out of here. Hold on. That should make this whole pile a little easier to deal with. Let's see. There we go. Oh, you're through there. Ooh, there are two of you. So pretty. Look at its hummingbird. <gasps> there are two of those. I'm super happy. I might have mentioned that the farm is named Hummingbird Hill. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. So I don't know what to do with these darling things because seriously, they are insanity. I mean, like your neck has to be like 17 feet long to wear these. I think because I could just trim off. They're a little uneven at the ends. But would you would you sell these? Those of you who sell the jewelry, let me know. I am not sure. And right now, since I have them slightly untangled, like I just give them a little haircut at the bottom because they are a little stretched out from being in a box. In a box. All right, in a bag. They're not, oh, there's some, mm, there's some spots on the cord. I could probably get it off, but I feel, let me know. What do you think? I'm going to put them over here in the craft pile, but I'm not sure because I think they're fab. Someone might want to wear those. Look at this beast of a thing. Oh my gosh. This is just an adjustable ring and it's cheap as chips, but it is so cool. Look at the AB on that big giant hunk of plastic. Oh my gosh. I kind of love that. I think someone would just look fab wearing that. And it's going to be, it's adjustable easily too. That was a six and it was a little loose. I could get it more adjustable. Let's see. There we go. There we go. And so that's probably about an eight and a half at that point. And I don't think it'd get much bigger than there because there's a little gap. That is so sparkly warkly. Did I just say that? I did. I can't help it. I just did. Okay. Let's see if we can get any of these things tangled. I see key. Ooh. <laughs> tangled. I meant untangled. And look, it, 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 it did this. Oh, this is a Betsy Johnson. And it is just a cute little black rhinestone or crystal bow. Super cute with the Betsy Johnson key there. I don't think it's missing any. Oh, wait, hold on. It is missing one little black stone right up there. So it's hard to see. I'll have to look up and see if that's really worth it. There are, unfortunately, a lot of Betsy Johnson copies coming straight out of China. And this one does have the key. Most of those I haven't seen with the keys as well. They just have the BJ um, Betsy Johnson. I'll take a look at the comps on that one because I think it's still really cute. Someone might love it. Okay, you earring... Oh, you earring and you earring too. All of the earrings. Wow. How are you? How? What What have we done here? We are so caught up in everything. And you're broken? Yes, maybe? No? Mm, interesting. All right. That goes to this. So let's get that out of there. Then this looks like it's all one piece. So, but it is broken. Nope. Oh, it's detached. Probably something that could be reattached. Where is the center of the heart of you? Okay, I am confuzzled. Oh, this is a Ann Taylor. There we go. So it's, oh, it's just really, I think, unfortunately, this is detached without a jump ring. And I don't know where it attaches to. Maybe here? No, where? Right there. So if I had a, an extra ring, oh, I can get that through there. I can fix that. So it's, but I don't know if that's long enough. Anyway. I can see about fixing this. Ann Taylor, I think, is okay. And this is kind of a cool piece. It's gold. It's got the black fun beads. And if that piece will fix and it's not missing a chunk of it, I feel like it's too short. But we'll see. That's kind of fun. We'll see. I might put that in a cell or I might put that in a craft. Probably in the craft once I really look at it. Ooh, look at this fun piece. That is so cute. It's a vintage adjustable, it looks like. It is really tarnished on the back, but it's really like, it's a hefty adjustable ring. I mean, this is, oh, it's not, maybe it's not adjustable. No, it is. It's just a hefty, hefty thing. Okay, there we go. Look at her. She's pretty. And like I said, I think there probably were supposed to be stones in all of those places that are empty, but it looks pretty good <laughs> without it. I think that's probably a craft lot or I'll keep it because I think it's super fun and I like it, but I think there are probably supposed to be stones in there as well. So right now, I'll just put that to the side. Ooh, ice cream. We do have one of those. Cool. 
Do, 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 do. I wish you would come out here, but you're stuck in this one. Can I get you out of this one? Where is the gap here? Right there. Oh, I did. Ha ha. This is a pretty, pretty tear, do tear drop on a very delicate chain. This is maybe a quartz or stone. It is cold. Could just be plastic. I don't know. It's on this very teeny tiny delicate chain that I don't see any markings on, but let's just... Uh, the chain itself is not magnetic, but the clasp is. So that is very pretty. Super cute. Great for layering again. And layering, I keep saying that because layering is on trend at the moment and layering dainty things. But then there's some people who don't like some dainty, so they want to layer things with a little more pizzazz. Let's see. What have we got here? Ooh. You look sterling. Let's see. I see a mark. Hold on. All right. So it says 925 Italy, but I've seen a lot of pieces that say 925 Italy that are magnetic as heck. Like this one. So maybe it was plated at some point. I will do a test to see. I don't know. I need to get, I need to get into a jeweler and have a jeweler help me out with some stuff. And then there's another. It says something back here too. So it's like uh, PP, so maybe it's plated, or PPJ, maybe that's a brand, I'll look that up. But it's a really cute bracelet, and if it's just tarnished and can be cleaned up, that's fine. If that's the silver plating that's worn off, that's not super good. But like I said, I need to get into a jeweler, and I'm going to try and call around to some antique stores or whatever. Who run the world? Girls. Apparently Beyonce is in the house. This is Bird Stone. I will look that up because who doesn't love a Beyonce bracelet? It needs a clean, but we'll see about that. Okay, you're, you know, straight hair. Ooh, sweet little, tiny little dainty little ring. Super cute. That is just a size eight. Huh. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm at eight and a half, so that's about right. Very sweet. Very dainty. Not magnetic, but... I don't think it's anything. Did I just bump you? I probably bumped you. Pardon my hair. Oh, well, we'll put it in the pile to see what I'm going to do with it. I can't test all the things that, that aren't magnetic because, oh, there's another, that's another one that lost the stone. But that might be silver. So I'll probably look at this. Ugh, stray hair. A stray hair strut. Oh, no, it's stray cat strut. Oh, there's a pink bead. Little rhinestone. Let's put that somewhere so I can save it. Oh, we have two of those cute little things. All right. We've got a lot of earrings here, people. So far, a lot of earrings. Oh, hold on. Where'd that ring go? I put it in craft, didn't I? Is that the right one? I think that one goes right there. Don't you think that goes right there? Yes, I think that goes right there. So I can glue that. I just have to buy glue. I'm out of glue. The kind of glue I would use for that. All right. This is... Ooh, very pretty stone bracelet with hematite little pieces between. So the little discs are hematite. What is that? That's not lapis because lapis is darker. It's so cool. All right, I don't see any markings on the clasp. I doubt that it's silver, but hey, let's just test. No. All right, but that's a really cool stone bracelet. I like it. I'll go in that box. Do, do, do. Are you broken? You are. Why is there? This is broken. What is that? That's a broken piece. Do you put those in craft? I mean, that's like really broken. Oops. That's really broken. It's a tiny itty bitty piece. What are you? You're cool. Can you come to visit? Yes, you can. Oh, you're broken. You are lapis. Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. <gasps> so this is lapis lazuli, one of my favorite, favorite stones, just because the name lapis lazuli. Oof, so pretty. Uh, and that's how my art history teacher said it when we were studying the Egyptians in high school. So I say it that way because I like it that way. If there's another way to say it, that's okay. You say it your way. I'll say it my art teacher's way. This is gorgeous. It is unfortunately missing its clasps. Wow. So that's going to go into craft, but probably in my stone or glass bead lot because I'm going to do a separate lot for those. Unless someone wants it and wants to fix that because that is exquisite. Oh, so pretty. All right. Like I said, if you're interested... Ooh, this is broken. Too bad because it's cute as all heck. Just needs restrung. Someone will make that a very pretty little bracelet in craft. 
If you see something, you can send me an email with screenshot and time and we can figure something out. This is a cute little arrow bracelet. It is not stretchy enough because this is not the kind you can roll on. Like I'm gonna, like that would not fit my wrist at all. Let's see, I don't see any names on it. So that's just gonna go into craft. I mean, it's fine. That would, I guess I could get that on, but it has some tarnish. Yeah, it's losing some color, I guess. Let's see, ring, no earring, lots of earrings. Ooh, sunglasses, dolphin. All right, we'll look at those later. Okay, what are you, come here, hold on. You are so pretty. So it's just little sweet, like I don't know if those are real dried flowers, but encased in acrylic or resin, probably resin. Oh my gosh, that's so dainty and adorable. It's kind of crooked, it looks like. It's like a little misshapen. Maybe I can take this off and reshape. Um, yeah, it's really there. I don't know if I helped or not. There we go, maybe. We'll see. Uh, but it's gorgeous. And it's isn't that like a teddy bear shape? I'm not sure the teddy bear shape goes with the, the little flowers, but maybe he's making honey. I don't know, he's so cute. I love that bracelet. I need to fix it now, because I oh, no, I did it. Oh, just, there we go. There we go, that's pretty good. That's pretty. I, look at how sweet that is. Isn't that just adorable? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's in pretty darn good condition too. All right. Are we in Alex and Ani? A real one? Looks like it. Okay, so we've got the energy. We've got the recycle sign. I haven't seen the apple before. And that is, yes, Alex and Ani. And then we have the heart flag. Now this is copper and it's one of the better condition ones I have seen because I've gotten a couple of these now and they're just trashed. I mean, they're not really in good shape, but this one's cute and it's the only one I've seen with that fun little apple. So that's a sellable. Do, do, do. All of the earrings. Ooh, there's a dolphin swimming in the sea. Is that close enough? Maybe, hold on, it's stuck. No, I don't think so. No, that's just something. Ooh, I don't know what that is. We'll look at that later. Ooh, earring. Very tiny gold colored band. Super small, like a five maybe. I guess I can measure. But what do you, did you sell those? What do you do with that? Hold on. Let's, let's see what that is. Nope, that's a six. Really? All right. I guess it fits there kind of. Well, not that I'd wear it that way. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're, no, no. We're not magnetic, so we'll just put it in the testy for fun pile. Okay, we've got some earrings. Very interesting and boho. Ooh, we've got some tassel. That's an earring too. Ooh, we've got, oh no, it's missing its center stone. <gasps> Look at how cool that is. That looks handmade and potentially silver, which means it'll be great for scrap, which I have to figure out how to do. It's adjustable too. Like I love the way they've done the double band adjustment here. I'm gonna hopefully can find that stone because that's a really cool ring. Maybe I'll send it to Kirsten and she'll put something in there for me. <laughs> we'll see. All right, uh, maybe I'll find something. Let's see, are we coming? Come to me, please don't break. Oh, look, we have a set. Oh, it's another, those are interesting. So it's another bobby pin, which we'll go into craft. So I'm not gonna sell a set of bobby pins. I just know. No, I know. Okay, what have we got here? We've got two things, three things. Okay, looks like this is just cheapest chips, little plastic jewelry, but I love the green color. And it's got kind of like little lines in it. So it could look like, you know, a lighter color malachite. Oh, the extra hairs are driving me crazy. But this is a fun shape. I haven't seen any in this shape. And I love those colors. So that's definitely sellable, like for 12 bucks and the three for something sale. This is what, Chica's? Hold on, I saw a sign. Do, do, do. Oh, Claire's. So that'll just go in my, that's a really pretty actually set of faux pearls, but it's Claire's. So it'll go in my faux pearl lot. Oh, what are we? Are we all one thing? Maybe we are. It's all about the time. Oh, this is another Betsy Johnson. And it has, let's see, I can get this untangled. I know I can. Give me a second. We can do this. All right. Oh, I don't want to waste your time. So we've got a little clock. We've got a little, like, what is that? Leopard print heart and then a little black bow with a rhinestone. That is super sweet. And I love the gold chain with kind of the balls every bit. So it's kind of a ball chain. It just needs untangled. And it does have the Betsy Johnson, which this does have a little wear on the back, but maybe just needs cleaned. So that's cute. I think that's sellable. People do like the Betsy Johnson. I like the Betsy Johnson. That's, I don't know what that is. Probably a watch cover thing. Okay, we've got so many things 
and look at all these earrings oh my gosh seriously people this is going to take forever to go through the earrings I was rewarding myself with this because I listed 20 things today. Oh my gosh, a little more. And then I relisted some stuff. So I was like, we can open the box because it came today. So here we are. Now it's getting late. All right. This is a fab little chevron. And my fingers are swollen right now. I can tell because I haven't had enough water today. Just a little gold tone chevron ring. That's super cute. Don't think it's... Amen. That doesn't mean anything. But I'll put in the files to test. Okay, this is so fun. It's a big old blue chunky bracelet. It's super cheap. That's probably just going to go into craft. Even though I kind of love it, I'll give it a wash and see how I feel. It's got some markings on it. This is a big old collar necklace wire silver tone. That's actually pretty fab. The wires are a little bent, but does it matter? I mean, when it's laying on your neck, it'll look so pretty. Huh. We'll see about that. I'll double check it over for some tarnish or anything, but I think that's kind of cool. That's going to get in the way of everything. So you can go over here along with the hair bracelet. If you didn't see the video with the hair bracelet, oof, I don't know if I posted that yet, but I have a lot of videos filmed. I just haven't put them up yet because there's a lot, there's not that much time. This is a loft necklace that is unfortunately very tarnished. Hold on. Um, oh, it's so pretty though. Look at those colors. Maybe it's not as, like, these are really cool. This chain is, pr yeah, it's pretty tarnished. And it might be something, if I can clean it up, that's not bad. Or I might just disclose it. Because, frankly, I don't mind tarnish. I love the look of it. I think it looks, it just adds some depth to pieces, especially, let's see, no, that's not a scratch. That's just, I don't know, I just love this part of it. Someone could easily replace the chain and make it even better. I could do that, maybe. I don't know that I want to, because that's not really my skill set. I could open a little jump ring and put chain in there. I can handle that. I don't know. What would you do? Because look, at it is pretty tarnished. If I could clean that up, it's definitely sellable. If I can't clean that up, I think it's still sellable, just for not as much. And obviously, I would disclose and take pictures. So I will put that in my project pile. Not that I want a project pile, so who knows how long that'll last. Alrighty, we've got this sweet little chain with three gold rings. Uh, are those losing color? Huh, Interesting. It doesn't have any markings on it. It is a very, very tiny, tiny chain. And it is all magnetic. But again, a great layering piece. Something that I would probably list for like 12 bucks. Maybe 15, because it's kind of unique. And then I have it in the bundle group. Okay, you are attached to everything. Oh, look at this cute little pin. What are you? You're just a pin. I don't know what the top is. I have a group of pins. I don't know where that goes. It's a pin. So I have a group of pins. I'll put that with that probably. Okay, we have here some symbols. We have, what is this? Is that a snake? Bones? I don't know, a crown? Ooh, this is, oh, it's Disney. I thought it looked like, what is this? Is that Jafar? Genie? What is that from Disney? Who, who can tell me what that is from Disney? Is that Pirates of the Caribbean? I don't feel like it. Like, that looks like the Jafar dude. What's that? That looks like a Grinch, but that's not really... And there's a crown, and then there's bones. Okay, tell me what that is for Disney, and I'll probably list it. Otherwise, I'll put it in craft. Does Disney really... I don't know if anyone wants that. So we'll see. Maybe I won't... Okay. Oh, the stone! <gasps> the stone! I found it. Dun, dun, dun! I just need glue, like I said. Oh, I'm so happy about those. Are What are they? Onyx? Slate? Huh, not onyx. Interesting. Not sure. Not sure. Some research. Ooh, earring. Hold on. Oh, God. why is there the, the wrapping paper? The, the, the Easter egg basket thing. Okay, what is this? It has, is this a gap? Interesting. And it's one of those gold with cloth wrapped through it. It does have a very, because Gap and J. Crew like to use the same kind of clasp, but yeah, the clasp is cool, but that can just go into craft. Let's see, earrings, more Easter wrapping stuff. Okay, what have we got here? Earring, big old earring, earring, earring. Ooh, bracelet. Okay, we are very tarnished. Oh, we are sweet though. Look at how pretty that is. Are those lotus flowers? Huh, this, do we have a marking? 
We have some verdigris a little bit. Or maybe that's just like a sticker. Kind of looks like a sticker. I don't see any markings on this. It is filthy. It is magnetic. It's really sweet. I'll see if I can clean it up a little bit. Otherwise, it will be going into craft. But it's really pretty. Like, I just... Isn't that romantic and pretty? I think that's a very pretty one. How many times can I say pretty? Let me just say I think it's pretty. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay. That's an earring. Whoa, what are you? And a ring. What are these rings? I feel like these rings aren't from, like, actual rings. I feel like they're from a necklace or something. Did I already play out anyway? Eh, gross. Ah, big dang hair. But really, really cute Croft and Barrow necklace. Ah, the hair. Ah, I touched it. Now it's on my floor because I just put it down there. Okay, awkward. Ah, seriously. The bonus hairs. <coughs> this is very pretty. Those are just neutral beauties. Gold tone. New on the card. I mean, Croft and Barrow is not that expensive to begin with, but these are just beautiful little crystals. Mm, so pretty. And I, again, the colors for the neutral palette that's so in this spring, totally anti my life. Uh, it is right on trend. Oh my goodness. Hi, me. I need to nap and I need to cough again. I can't decide whether I was yawning or coughing or what is this? Hmm. This is all of the things tangled up. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, was I cough in your ear? Awkward. This is a series of like little horseshoes. They're really cute. They're gold tone. They have no brand. They're totally sellable and perfectly layerable for spring. So I will untangle those and either put them in a layering lot. I haven't really done any layering lots um, or sell them separately and let people choose themselves. Ooh, this is a big old chunky silver tone chain. Do we have a clasp anywhere? Yes, we do. Here's a clasp. It's Monet. Fancy pantsy. Monet. Monet, Monet. It says Monet three times, just to let us know it's Monet. There we go. This is in really good condition. I've gotten a lot of really junky Monet. That's cool. And it's silver. And I love these fab links with the screw head connection there. It's all one piece, so it's like fake screw head. But anyway, that's cool. And very chunky. So chunky monkey. Mm, what are you? You are weird. Why is this a thing? Tell me why this exists. With this, it's dirty. It's t-shirt material, and that's going into crap. Like, this part is pretty cool. Like, these gold beads are actually decent. Those are just plastic. But this, this is used to poo crap. Ugh, ooh, yucky crafts. I almost said, like, a bad word, but I didn't mean to. Look, so these, like, I feel, I feel like these, and there's that other one somewhere. Where did it go? Over here. It's, no, not that one. Anyway, I feel like these are part of something that go together. Earrings, 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 earrings. Oh my gosh, the tassel. That could go into craft, even if there's another one. Oh, look, it's part of that necklace. Craft. All right. Ooh. A gold tone sparkling. Oh, what does it say? It has words on it. It says... 18 karat... I think it's probably gold plated. I don't think it's... Because it looks like... The gold is unfortunately wearing off everywhere. So it's a size seven and a half. And it could be gold over sterling. Mm, can't really see. Can you see the words down there? I need to put nail stickers back on. I ordered a whole bunch of nail stickers from the Poshmark. So I will test that and see. But they haven't gotten here yet, so I could have more nail stickers because those were super fun and not a lot of effort, and I am into not a lot of effort. Okay, more earrings. I'm going to have to do the earring pile as a whole a different video, people, because this is seriously getting out of hand. Ooh, you. Are you broken? No, you're cute. You are just a little infinity with a shepherd's hook kind of clasp here. That is teeny tiny, and that's a stone. Jade, maybe? That might be jade. But it's so small. Like, that. who's that going to fit? And it's off-center. I feel like there's something missing because it's off-center. Huh. This is where I wish I had one of those testers. That's probably just going to go into craft. But that's a very pretty stone. But I can't get one of those testers until I, I sell at least $300 worth of jewelry. So then I can get a tester. I have, like, the cheap diamond tester, but... 
it's told me things aren't that are diamonds. I'm like, I don't think that's actually diamond. But then some others. This is really pretty cute craft and barrow set. It has faux pearl. It has rhinestones. Is that it losing pieces of rhinestone or was that already there? So I'll have to check it over pretty carefully. But that's really pretty. That's very pretty. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. This will go to my aunt. Like I said, who makes the rosaries? And this has no, I mean, I guess it has stretch. Ugh! Ugh! I'm afraid I'll break it, but that'll go to the aunt who makes the rosaries. Big old chunky gold earring. Ooh, big old gold peace sign. That's probably, is that a seven? No, it's an eight. I told you my fingers are swollen. Awkward. And there is no markings on the inside. Oh, it's pretty dirty though. Like right in there. It's pretty worn. The outside, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Someone might like that for a boho hi hippie style. Festival isn't really a thing this year because, you know, still so. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wood. Earring. Ring. And let's look at that in a minute. Uh, earring. Kind of fab. Tangle. Earrings. Earrings. More gap. Fall into the gap. Ooh, you, oops. Prettiness. So sweet. Okay, we'll put you there. Earrings there. Earring, let's look at this ring. This is so pretty. Oh, how dainty. So sweet. This cute, charming little ring. I love it. It is magnetic. What do you sell those? Like, do you just put them on for like five bucks? It's a really cute ring. Maybe I put that in a set with something. I'll put that in the box and think about it. This charmer is Kenneth Cole. Okay. It's a Kenneth Cole, but it's this beautiful little purple color. So like faux amethyst bead with gold and it's in very good condition. And that's just sweet. Again, a fun layering piece because it has some color in it, but it's not super over the top and chunky. That's cute. Do, do, do. I think I have like five things like this to sell. And this one has some scratches on it. Let's see if we can get you out of here. Do, do. Oh gosh, there's so much hair in this one. We are almost done with this bag. We've got most of it. I think this one's going to craft just because of the wear on it and it's not, yeah, the chain is very discolored as well. So, oh, you're an earring. Oh, the hair, seriously, why, why people? Ugh, gross. Okay. This is a little, very, very miscolored V. Miscolored, discolored. There we go. Crafty. This is a Claire's and it has all the bonus hairs and that's going to the craft. And I'm sorry, whoever gets that, you can just pull that out yourself. <laughs> I might go back through craft. I usually go back through craft just to make sure I didn't put anything in there stupidly, but I can't say I really relish. Ooh, this one's cute. I like this. This is a sweetie. Just a sweet, sweet little. I love the silver dangles with the cute little circles. That's just charming. That's a fun, fun piece that has some weight to it. So it's a little bit of a statement, but it's not one of those just horribly chunky over the top ones, which I absolutely love sometimes. But this one is a little more subtle, but still has some presence. Very cute. And this is a LC, which is probably Lauren Conrad. I think that's, or is that a W? Is that LC or a W? Anyway, they look like they want to be garnet with this cute little hook. Closure. I don't know if they're really garnet. I feel like they're plastic. Maybe, maybe not. They're cold. Kind of. It's, it's probably plastic. But it's pretty. All right, earring. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, look, there's another one. They're a set. Are they different lengths? Hold on. Let me bring you back here. If they were different lengths, it would be even better, but you could still wear those together. All right. There we go. What is this? This is a sack roots. It's broken. That can go to craft. All right. Ooh, what are you? You are a sassy little piece. You've got a closure there. No, you are a bracelet. Holy buckets of bracelet, Batman. Are those tiger eye real? Those feel cold. What are you? You feel like you should have a name on you somewhere because you are just a chunky monkey. And I love these kind of clasps because you can actually do them. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not going to get it off. Um, 
I think there's a real tiger's eye because they are cold. So I feel like there's stone and I feel like there should be a name somewhere on this, but I don't see one. Huh, cool. I like that piece. Very funky. How funky is a chicken? How loose is a goose? A tassel, a broken tassel. Oh, more tassels. Yay. Oh, this other one was broken. So these are, this tassel's broken. Good. We're done with those. Okay. Why is this a thing? Is this, what is this? This is a, what is this? Why? This is a bracelet? This is a bracelet. But why is this a bracelet? Who, who did this as a bracelet? Seriously. It's got this cording. It's got two, all the different lengths. It's too long in some places. Like, who wants that? That's going into craft. I'm not even going to figure that out. That's enough of that shenanigans. This is a sweet little L with a little gem down there. And it is not... Oh, wait. It says 925... And something? It's right back there. Again, don't look at the nails. Seriously. Gardening is such a thing. And here it says... Let's see if it says it even bigger. Um, Italy 925. So how much we want to bet if this one's magnetic or not? Let's see. Why? Okay, this clasp is magnetic, but that's not. All right, nothing else is magnetic. That's pretty. So it's a sterling, it looks like. I will probably test it just to make sure. But the lack of magnetism does help. This is a sweet little bird, which the ring needs reconnected which is an easy peasy fix, but it's just really, I mean, I think that someone would love that little bird on the kind of bronze chain that is aged, antique looking, even dirty, shall we say, but it's cute enough. I'll fix that. I think someone would love that in a little lot of necklaces, maybe kind of a boho grouping to layer. Oh my gosh. All of the, all of the tiny, tiny, <gasps> so many tiny what is that oh that's broken piece too bad that's broken okay tassel hello we've got mustard tassels we're just going crazy oh this is pretty this is a very pretty seed bead it looks like it's potentially handmade just because of the strings here it does have the is that a barrel clasp oh, i feel like unfortunately i worry about that lasting it's very pretty chokers are kind of back in right now Kind of. They'll be more back in by fall. Don't look at the hands. Seriously, people? Who lets me out in public? Uh, that is really actually quite charming. But it does have these strings along the edge, so it will go into craft. Too bad. Okay, are there two of these? There are. We've got some lovely giants. Hold on, let me get this other one. So we have a matching set, depending on your mood. You're either the dark queen with all, do you see all the hair, but look at the AB crystals, or you're the light queen. Either one is possible. So what is that cross called? Now I can't remember it. I was just thinking of it and I got distracted by the hair. These are in good shape. They don't seem to be missing any crystals. Oh wait, the red one might be. I lied. The red one is missing stone. So conveniently that and its hair will go to craft. The blue one is not missing any stones. And I feel like someone might like a blue sparkly thing with beautiful plastic beads. I'll think about that. I might go to craft. I don't, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. What is this chunky piece of magnificence? Black on one side, red on the other, depending on your mood. Plastic, acrylic, acrylic. Um, and this is, hold on, Express. But I think that's pretty fab. So, uh, it's kind of scratched up. If I can kind of buff that out and get it a little smoother on the black side, it's pretty scratched up. Mm, it's probably going to go into craft, but I think that's really cool. So I'm not sure about that. Let me think about it. All right, ooh, we've got an agate. Polished agate with, what are these? Are those like Fimo beads? Like they're, they feel like polymer clay beads. Oh, the agate is so cool. This, not cool. And you see that one, it's like, they're not staying in place. Oh, that's so sad, because that agate is really pretty. But dish, not so pretty. I don't like it, and I think it's gonna scratch your neck. So it's going in craft. Earring. Earring. Leona Love Grove. Watch. I don't know about that. I will do some research. 
it's in decent enough shape. I mean, I have batteries. I can put a new one in. But I'll look up the brand, see if it's worth selling. Or it will go into my watch lot. All right, we are almost at the end of this bag. And wow, you're a rat mom. Okay, good to know. Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm not sure about these shenanigans. Look, it's a toe ring. Also, a pinky topper, just for fun. I actually like, oh, here's a piece of the lapis lazuli that has broken off. I think it just, I don't know if it's broken. I th oh, yeah. The the channel, the place the bead was cut was too far over. So the hole was cut too far over. So it's right through the edge. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, unfortunately, someone's going to have to do something else with that. Because it won't go back on that necklace and stay. All right. I think the rest we have are all earrings. Ooh, we have two of those sweet little rings. Where did I put the other one? This one looks smaller. And that is smaller. So one for the pinky, one for the middle finger. Not the middle finger, the pointer, the index, whatever. Ooh, that's sparkly. Okay. Wait. Ooh, that goes with the uh, ring, kind of. All right. Oh my goodness. I am going to give this a pause and I'm going to separate this whole stack of earrings and see what we have. I do have some extra beads and rhinestones in here, so we'll see if those go to anything in the process. Uh, I'll probably just put you on fast forward. I'll just do this and put it on fast forward. Get this party started. I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kind of proud. I got my dancing shoes on. And I'm feeling dangerous Let's get this party started Yeah, we gon' be adventurous We went to the club like we always do This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you Then she left the room there are so many earrings here that are really cool. <laughs> I'm not going to show them to you all, but I just love these. These are just little ceramic and they're dirty on the back. They're hummingbirds. I showed you and there are two of them. I love those. This is a cool set back here. So we got a uh, baseball, a football, a soccer ball, and a basketball. And that's like a cute little set. There is a whole rainbow of these little things. So I've got orange, turquoise, green, blue, and I think pink. Ooh, and I have white. So they're all the same exact style. And those will be a fun set. That's a cute little grouping. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so many. I, I just stopped. I'm, I'm done. Like, it's time. These, I think, are actual, like, gold leaf. Like, put over leaves. They're not, like, real gold, obviously. But those are really pretty. These are probably my absolute favorite. So they just have this turquoise little froggy woo with a green enamel leaf. And there's this little heart up here. They don't have any markings that I think I see. No. But those are super sweet. There's a little flip-flop with diamonds. Uh, it looks like a... Hmm. There's a, a an earring back got stuck in that one. All right, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's all these little tiny gems like this. And I've gotten a couple of these that are actual diamond. So I will have to look at those when I get my loop and then test if necessary just to confirm. But I gotta get my loop light back up. So there's a whole bunch of those. These are really fun and maybe vintage. Those are super cute. These ice cream cones are super fun. Those are really cute. Um, let's see. Are there anything? There's nothing else. I was bummed that there wasn't another one of these little shells because that's a nice one. These snowflakes are charming. Oh, glass. So cute. And there's a bunch of nice, ooh, these were fun. Like the plastic rose, kind of vintagey. The vintage hook, which I don't think that's silver. No. Uh, but just really cool, like the clear plastic rose. And then this is a chip. Oh, is that broken? I feel like there's this is broken on both of them, but I don't know if it matters. I feel like it was supposed to be a square. So maybe it does matter. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. Those are cute. All right. Oh, I like these. These were interesting. There's nothing really spectacular, nothing branded here that I see off the top of my head. There might be some sterling, there might be some gold, but it's on tiny things, so I'm going to have to look a lot closer. Overall, this was not a magnificent box, but it wasn't a terrible box. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Hold on. Look at the little pandas and their heads move. So cute. Those are fun. All right, I'm easily amused. But yeah, like these blue are very pretty. Unfortunately, there's not another one of this purple, which is gorgeous. Did that one have markings on it? I don't think so. Oh yeah, on the side of the back 
yeah, it has a couple marks on it, but I don't know. Hold on, let's just... Yeah, all of those... Uh, this back isn't proper. Put that back. This, uh, so I, I have to go through and like magnet, like do the magnet test on all of the little tiny things to see if there's anything worth looking more closely at. But otherwise, yeah, it was a fine box. There's some pieces that were interesting. There's nothing really spectacular, I don't think. There was nothing really like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I can't believe this is so amazing. These are really cute little glass. I love those beads. Those are pretty and they're glass. There you go. The sound. There are some singles here, but not too many. Oh, these are kind of fun. Terribly tacky earrings. So cute. Those are fun. Little flowers, great for spring. But yeah, I mean, there's some Eiffel Towers, there's some ice cream cones, what more could you ask for? Let me know what you think of this box. If you have recently opened a jewelry box from the thread up, let me know down in the comments. These might be sterling, what are they? Hold on. They have a symbol. It's like a little turtle. Hmm. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. These might be sterling. If you have ever, if you have recently opened a thread up box and I've missed you, I try to keep up with the people. So like Texas Gal Treasures and Princess Casserole, which is the best name ever, and Kelly Mon Collects and Kirsten. I try and keep up on those folks. But if you're a person who's opening stuff and you have boxes that I haven't seen, let me know down in the comments. I like to watch the videos while I'm sorting through things or taking photos because that gives me something to do. Like this little bitty thing might be a real ruby. It's teeny tiny though. All right. That's enough of those shenanigans. I like these square cuts. Those are cool, but probably nothing. All right, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what your favorite thing in this box was. And again, if you have opened a thread up jewelry box, one of the five pounders, I, I've seen a number of the, what is that? Of the, uh, like 15 piecers and I haven't gotten a hold of one of those. I think that is perhaps sterling. Maybe it's cute little mountain. I found it in the middle of the rings. All right, let me know how you're doing. What's good with you, what you thought of this box. And if you have ever opened a thread up, DIY jewelry box, let me know because I won't come see your video. Hope everything's going well with you. I've said that like six times, but I mean it. So there you go. I will see you later, alligators. Bye.